We're going to make a video showing how to season a Dutch oven. Um, this oven came out of our troop trailer and we're getting ready to go to summer camp. And I got to looking at it and the seasoning on it isn't very good. Um, and it has quite a bit of the seasoning off on the inside. It's dirty. If you look over right here... You see some egg that was left on it at some point when it didn't get thoroughly cleaned and it doesn't smell good inside. So anyway, uh, we're going to remove all of this seasoning um, the way that I do it and just going to show you what I do to uh, re-season a Dutch oven. Um, what seasoning is, is oil that's baked onto it and it actually turns into kind of a plastic. It call, it's called polymer, polymerization. It, it forms a polymer uh, with the pores in the cast iron, and it makes your Dutch oven nonstick. So um, you can see the lid of this oven is uh, pretty rusty. Uh, just hasn't had oil applied after it's been used. Um, lots of sticky stuff on the bottom, um, and all that's going to come off. So uh, I'm not going to bore you with me washing it but I'll show you the lid here there's lots of seasoning off of the lid on the edges um, and again the way that happens is it just doesn't get oil applied after it's uh, been used um, and or didn't get cleaned well and and stuff just sat there and ate through the seasoning so anyway um, going to scrub it and then show you how I go about re-seasoning a Dutch oven. So part two, um, I've scrubbed it. You still see the water sitting on it. Uh, it's probably not a good idea if we were gonna store this oven to let it sit with just water on it and let it dry. Um, but I'm actually going to strip all of the seasoning off and get it down to the raw cast iron. Um, and again, seasoning is simply, we're taking an oil, we spread it on the surface, we bake it on and and it forms a polymer. It actually forms a plastic with the pores of the Dutch oven. Um, I've read a lot about people's different opinions and went, actually went to Lodge Cast Iron's website and they recommend that you use soybean oil, uh, just typical vegetable oil off the shelf at the grocery store. Um, and we will bake that on at 375 degrees, but getting ahead of ourselves. So um, sitting next to uh, the oven I'm gonna season is our Troops 14 inch cast iron oven. And this oven was in worse shape than the one that I'm getting ready to re-season. Um, I found it in the Troop trailer and something was actually still growing on it. It was yellow inside, scrubbed it all up at camp and uh, put a coat of oil on it. And then we made a apple dump cake in it and the oven had a strange smell before I started uh, making the apple dump cake. And when we made the apple dump cake, the apple dump cake smelled just or tasted just like the inside of the oven smelled. So I re-seasoned this one a couple weeks ago using the same process I'm going to use today. And look how nice and black it is. I keep it stored with napkin or a paper towel in it just to keep uh, the, have something in there that's going to absorb any moisture from the humidity in the air. Um, and it's wiped down with vegetable oil, but uh, it is seasoned. And as that oven gets used over the years and uh, cleaned right and put up right, that seasoning will, uh, will continue to develop and the polymer will So we're going to go ahead and re-season this, uh, this 12 inch oven. Um, first thing we've got to do is strip all of that seasoning off and there's lots of different ways to do it. People use a lot of different ways. Some people will use a lye bath, a uh, pretty dangerous way to go about doing it. Um, some people will use an electrolysis bath and I'm not going to spend the money or take the time to do that. Um, uh, and then the, another way that people will do it is they spray it with easy off oven cleaner, which is lye based, and they will put it in a trash bag for 24 hours and then scrub it, and that will remove all of the seasoning too. Um, what I am going to do is use uh, the self cleaning oven that we have, and what that self cleaning oven will do is it will bake 
uh, it will get the temperature inside that oven to up to almost 900 degrees Fahrenheit and will actually dissolve and remove that polymer. Um, you know, clean the, the oven will be nice and clean after we get done too, and the Dutch oven will be nice and clean, but it will be down to raw cast iron. So um, after that, I will, uh, I will wash the oven again uh, just to get as close to the bare metal as I can. When, when I pull this oven out uh, tomorrow morning, it will be pretty rusty. Um, and uh, we'll, get, we'll get, get that extra oxidation off and then uh, apply the oil to it. And we will uh, bake it again for an hour or two at uh, 375, 400 degrees. Um, I'll have to check that number and I'll let you know further along in the video and that will get that oil baked down and, and actually drive all the water out of the oil, all the uh, extra stuff out of the oil and form the polymer that will bind with the uh, cast iron of the oven. So i um, going to put it in the self-cleaning oven, lock the self-cleaning oven and uh, you'll see that in just a second. So this is a Whirlpool uh, self-cleaning oven, super capacity. Um, again, I'm going to, uh, got the oven in upside down, got the lid, uh, in, and since there's very little seasoning on the top, I'm not worried about anything pooling there. And I want to bake all that seasoning off of the inside of the top. So got it upside down. Uh, everything's going to drip down toward the bottom. And when we pull this out of the, out after the self-cleaning cycle is over, possibly tomorrow morning or when I get a chance it's going to be pretty rusty because it'll sit overnight and the humidity in the air uh, will oxidize, cause the iron on the uh, oven to oxidize. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and close the door and set the self-cleaning cycle and we will uh, take all the seasoning off of this. So cast here's iron. the Dutch oven after it came out of the self-cleaning oven. Uh, the cycle ran for about three and a half hours, uh, just the self-cleaning cycle and that extreme heat at almost 900 degrees Fahrenheit broke down uh, the seasoning, got rid of it, uh, melted it off of it, and got it down pretty close to the to the bare metal. Um, and I told you it was going to get rusty. It's kind of neat looking at it. Uh, this dust in here was just where I rubbed my hand along the side, and you can see that buildup of that rust that's just... Uh, the oxygen in the water uh, reacting with the cast iron overnight. So next step, we're gonna scrub it down and get it as close to the bare metal as possible. Okay, so I have the oven scrubbed, um, got the a lot of the rust off of it, and then I used a hair dryer to, to blow dry it um, just to speed up that process. And you can see it's already starting to redevelop rust on it. Um, but anyway, uh, next step is apply the uh, the oil to it that we're going to use to season it. Um, we got a basting brush. Uh, I like using that just because it gives me a better coating than trying to scrub it around with a paper towel. Um, and then I don't leave residue in there either. Um, so I'm going to put the, uh, the oil in that little bowl sitting right there and uh, use the basting brush to apply it all the way on the oven, just a thin coat and then it will go into the oven and bake at 400 degrees for a little over an hour. So. And just something like this. We're just trying to get that oil coated down in there pretty well. Um, might thin it out with a paper towel. Uh, I'm kind of winging this as we're going, but the whole idea is just to get a good coat of oil all over all of the cast iron. So anyway, uh, let me get this done and we'll get it in the oven. And get it so baking. I've got the inside coated now. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that with a paper towel. Um, got to use really good paper towels when you do that because if they leave a lot of lint, uh, you're just gonna get that into your finish, and that's not necessarily a good thing. So, um, but I'm gonna wipe it down with a paper towel uh, just to smooth that oil out, and then brush uh, the bottom and the sides, and and. Uh, then we'll get it baked. So I've got the bottom part of the oven uh, covered with a good coat of oil. Um, I did use a paper towel to smooth that down and, and get it a little less thick. 
Um, I don't want any runs or drips running down the, the side. So then I poured a little oil here into the top, um, just using the basting brush to try to get around that edge and make sure I get all those pores filled on that. So edge. I have the oven completely coated with vegetable oil and I did go ahead and use a paper towel to thin that down um, just to help eliminate some of the drips and smooth that oil out. Um, so inside out, completely covered with a coat of oil and it's going to go into the oven now for an hour at 400 degrees and that's going to take that oil and it's going to bake it into a polymer on the uh, into the pores of the cast iron so and the whole reason we're doing this the whole reason we season a oven is number one to protect the cast iron but number two it also makes this uh pretty much non-stick cookware as long as we uh, maintain that seasoning so all the time. into the oven upside down uh, both cooking surfaces facing down so we don't get any pooling of any oil on those and get the seasoning too thick in any places um, if it gets a little thick on the top or pools a little bit on the top that's okay um, and then the outside of it it should just all run off if it's if it's going to run anywhere so anyway uh, it's going into the oven uh, 400 degrees for about an hour when it comes out it will be nice so just pulled black. the dutch oven out of the oven um it's uh still a little hot um it was in for like an hour and 15 minutes on 400 degrees and then i shut the oven off and let it cool um a little bit enough to get it out and uh not 100 percent happy with the level of seasoning that i have on the bottom of the cooking surface so I think I'm going to wipe that again, uh, get a little more oil on there, and put it back in and do another 400 degrees. So here's the final result. I just pulled it out of the oven. It's still warm. Um, I'm really happy I made that decision to put another coat of oil on it and bake it again. Uh, so all together it was in the oven three and a half hours on the self-cleaning cycle, and then almost two and a half hours uh, getting the seasoning baked onto it. Uh, the second coat, I baked it for an hour. Um, and I'm really happy with it. It really looks like it's got a nice thick coat of seasoning on it. Um, again, that seasoning is where the oil has polymerized to the cast iron pores and it has made basically a non-stick surface that will last for years. So as long as this oven is cleaned properly and stored properly, uh, it should, that seasoning should continue to develop over the years and it should never need to be re-seasoned again uh, as long as it's cleaned and stored properly. As far as cleaning, I scrub it with a Scotch-Brite pad or uh, or a Scotch-Brite sponge and I used on dishwashing liquid in mine. Some people will say don't use soap uh, Lodge Cast Iron says it's perfectly fine, and, and I do just because I want to make sure I get it clean. And it's the soap's not going to remove that seasoning because that seasoning is no longer an oil, it's a polymer. Um, so it's like a plastic, and, and dish soap doesn't remove plastic. So the way that we'll take care of this oven is when we get uh, done using it, we'll scrape out uh, any food that's stuck on with a plastic scraper. We'll pour some boiling water in it, wash it with uh, Dawn dishwashing liquid and a Scotch-Brite sponge, and then we'll wipe it dry, and then we'll wipe a thin coat of oil on it and put a paper towel in it and store it. And if we do all of that, uh, this oven should be in really good shape for years and years to come. Thanks for watching.